The goal of the whole program for us is truly about opening up a world for our children and certainly a really deep connection to the State of Israel. When our children come into this building, they are exposed to Hebrew all the time. It sounds simple, but it's magical, and the whole idea for us is making that connection with joy. And there's an auditory development, an auditory exposure that children have from the youngest age that just travels with them as they roll through the school. Children start out in the first grade using the Aitalam curriculum, this interactive program that is really designed to capture a child who's used to today's technology. And the kids are moving at a pace that is really aligned to their learning. <laughs> We sing Israeli songs all the time. There's a huge amount of song embedded within the Aitalam program. The data is very clear. The children will pick things up auditorily when you place things and attach things to music. With the songs they are learning, it's happy. They are moving, they are doing hand movement, and they learn Hebrew. Our children come into this building every morning to Israeli music playing in the gym and you hear it and they're dancing to it and they can sing the song and they know it and it's a part of who they are. It's so unbelievable to think that children by the end of first grade are reading in two languages, left to right, right to left. It's just the norm. I love to write long sentences in Hebrew. Reading in Hebrew is completely phonetic. So you'll see a child trying to put those letters and sounds together on a whiteboard, slowly, bit by bit, blending those sounds. Then within six months, you're seeing children really learning how to expand a sentence. And then all of a sudden, they're writing. <laughs> אני מדברת עברית עם החברים שלי בכיתה. I speak Hebrew with my friends in class. Our children feel perfectly comfortable turning to one another and saying, בוקר טוב, בוקר טוב, מה שלומך? And that language starts to develop. All of that is balanced with their being able to make real meaning out of text that they're learning and reading. אני למדתי לקרוא תורה השנה. I learned to read Torah this year. It's wonderful that they can open up a chumash by the middle of second grade. The beauty is that they can actually have a debate about the verse and discuss theologically where is God in the text and how do I feel about that? How does that relate to my life? These are, you know, pieces of our life that we want to make relevant to them. And they're using all the skills that they're putting together to develop a skill that now makes them a valued member of the Jewish community. We go in and have an interesting conversation with them. Why is it such a big deal? So you're getting a chumash. And the kids themselves will start to unfold it and they'll say, well, my parents did this. And my parents' parents did this. So it's not just the content, it's the skill, it's the connection, and how this ties us all together that we want our children to have. For a child to be able to go back to a source themselves look at it in, its pri in the primary text and understand it with ritual, with prayer, with aspects of moral behavior. When we've achieved that, that's the ultimate success.